Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. This channel has two persons of the year. The first person is Alan Marx from United States. And the second person is Peter Obi of Nigeria. I've done a video on why Alan Marx is the person of the year 2023 for this channel. Now I'm doing another one to show why Peter Obi is the person of the year 2023. And the reason is what I will share with you right now. Why Peter Obi is sharing the top persons of the year with Alan Marx. Peter Obi, as you all know, is the former governor of Anambra State. He was the vice presidential candidate of the PDP in the 2019 presidential election. At the run-up to the 2023 presidential election, Peter Obi was the person that most Nigerians expected that should pick the ticket of the People's Democratic Party. But the internal dynamics in the PDP show that Peter Obi is not likely to get it, as the governors of the PDP had hijacked the party and was working desperately to have one of them as the presidential candidate. Somehow, Atiku Abubakar, who is well moneyed, if I could use that word, was able to pacify the governors by taking one of them as his running mate if he can get the ticket of the party. And Atiku Abubakar, in what has been described in the media as dollar rain primaries of the PDP, emerged the candidate of the party. But before then, there was serious debate on why Atiku, who is from the North, should be the president of Nigeria after eight years of Muhammad Buhari as president of Nigeria, also from the North. But Atiku was undeterred, and those who had hijacked the party was determined to foist Atiku on the party and on the nation. Peter Obi, who has enormous goodwill from Nigerians, read the atmosphere very well. As a political juggernaut that he is, on February 20, on February 20th, on Friday, February 20th, that is when the magic began to happen because of Peter Obi and his emergence in the Nigeria's political firmament in 2023. On February, on Friday, sorry, on Friday, May 20, 2022, Peter Obi wrote a letter of resignation to the ward chairman of Agulu, Ward 2, an ultra local government area of Anambra State, declaring his resignation from the PDP, the People's Democratic Party. After that letter, he formally withdrew from the presidential contest of the People's Democratic Party. This is because Peter Obi at this time had already bought the 50 million Naira votes tickets for the, for the ticket of People's Democratic Party. On May 30th, 2022, Peter Obi emerged as the presidential candidate of the little-known Labour Party. The Labour Party is little-known because despite the fact that it's been around for a, a while, its track record had shown that it had done abysmally when it comes to presidential contest. Take note that in the 2019 presidential election, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Usman Mohammed, 
got only 5,074 votes. Take note of that, 5,074 votes. That is how low Labour Party is regarded in Nigeria before P2B came on board. P2B was not given a chance of winning because, quote-unquote, he had no structure. Structure in Nigeria means having money banks, structure of criminality. That is what you need to have to show that you are willing. You, are, you have the capacity to win an election. So they look at him, they say, Peter B had no structure. So how is he going to win? However, the, the enthusiasm that was generated by Peter B's emergence as the presidential candidate of the Labour Party led to the emergence of fanatical youths who were supporting him, known as the obedience. Disobedience were, together with P2B, able to change the political dynamics of Nigeria forever. Disobedience, they were described as four people tweeting in a room, apparently meaning that they are not going to have any impact in the election. However, these young men and women showed that their powers were not only restricted online, that they are also very strong on the streets. They galvanize some of the most enthusiastic street matches across the country this country has ever seen. From Lagos to Port Harcourt to Kaduna to everywhere, they were everywhere showing their powers both on the street and online. This country has never seen anything like this in its history. They show that they are the new generation ready for a new Nigeria that their principal was talking about. To show that their message was sinking in to Nigerians, opinion polls after opinion polls by credible posters, including the ones that was done by Bloomberg of United States and the CNN and others within the country show that P2B's message was resonating among Nigerians and that he is the man to beat. He was winning in virtually all the opinion polls. The only opinion polls that P2B did not win was the ones that were manipulated by President Bola Metinubu and, and uh, Atiku Abakar of the PDP. Let me tell you those ones. They are the opinion poll that was done by the nation newspaper owned by Bola Metinubu. We showed that Bola Metinubu will win. That was a John Dean's opinion poll. Similarly, the opinion poll that was done by this day, given Atiku Abakar that he will win. That was also a John Dean's opinion poll done by a newspaper that its chairman and publisher is a friend of Atiku Abakar. But P2B in all the opinion polls by unbiased posters was the one leading nationwide. Another thing that P2B showed during the election was that he ran the most unifying campaign than any other presidential candidate, especially the two main contenders with him, Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress and the article Abakar of the People's Democratic Party. While Tinubu was saying that it was his turn and the turn of the Yoruba under the so-called Emilokon, and Atiku Abakar was saying that it was the turn of the North to continue to rule, that what the North need is a Northern president. Peter Obi was the only candidate that was talking about capacity, competency, integrity. And he was the one that was saying that do not vote for me because I'm from the Southeast. Do not vote for me because I'm a Christian. Vote for me because I have the capacity, I have the competencies, I have the integrity to be the president of Nigeria. That is a marked distinction between Peter Obi and the rest of them. The others were banking on religion because it was because of religion that Bola Metinu was so insensitive that he ran on a Muslim-Muslim ticket. 
It was because of that insensitivity that he said it is his turn, it is his turn of the Yoruba. Thereby being one of the people that have continued to exploit religion and ethnicity to rise to power. Peter B also was the only candidate that promised to eradicate corruption, and most Nigerians believe him because his track record in Anambra State, where after eight years of public service, he didn't steal a penny from Anambra State government, in which his record was clean, in which he didn't earn anything extra from office. Unlike uh, Bola Metinubu, who instigated the largest peck in office for former governors, which he's enjo he was enjoying as former governor of Lagos State, P2B was not receiving pension. He had never collected pure water from Anambra State government since he left, left office. Whereas Bola Metinubu had been enjoying medical facilities and all kinds of facilities that was provided for him as former governor of Lagos State, which he was instrumental in making it making it to pass through the Lagos State House of Assembly when he was living in 2007 as governor of Lagos State. Atiku Abakar himself cannot talk about fighting corruption because Atiku Abakar and Bola Metinubu, if you want to know about them, all you have to do is go and purchase the book by President Olusegun Obasanjo, My Watch you will get to know things about them when it comes to the issue of corruption. A simple goggle about Bola Metinobu and Atiku Abakar will tell you whether you will believe them if they say they want to fight corruption. So Peter B was the only one that said he will fight corruption and Nigerians believed him because of his track record. Now, on February 25, 2023, the Presidential and National Assembly Election Day. It was the day to show whether what Peter Obi and his obedience we are talking about had resonated with Nigerians, whether Nigerians will vote for Peter Obi. And indications show that Nigerians were overwhelmingly voting for Peter Obi. In fact, it had been alleged that it was because P2B was having a runaway victory. That was why the Independent National Electoral Commission allegedly sabotaged electronic transmission of results and said they had glitches, which the Amazon Web Services, which provided provision for the backbone of INEC, say it's a lie. There was no glitches. Whatever glitches that happened on February 25 was man-made, and that man-made was done to ensure that Peter B does not win because he was heading to victory from all we have gathered. He was heading towards victory until the man made sabotage. That is what we have gathered. And independent verifications have also shown that Peter B indeed won the election. But already the Supreme Court and INEC had announced Bola Tinubu as the winner. And there is little anyone can do, but they cannot erase the fact of what people believe, the fact of what independent verifiers have said. The European Union Monitoring Group has said that the data they use in announcing Bola Metinubu cannot be verified, saying that is one of the reasons why they were condemned by the government of the day. But the fact remains that the world knows that the election that brought Bola Metinubu is an election that many people believed was won by Peter Obi. And many people believe that had INEC not sabotaged the will, had not allegedly sabotaged the will of the people, Peter Obi is believed to have had a runaway victory in the last election. Peter Obi has shown that you can win election, presidential election in Nigeria without having tons of money. All you need is the support of the people. He has shown it in the last election. Not since 1999 has the country seen anything like his campaign, where somebody came from nowhere in terms of what they call structure and won more states 
than any other presidential candidate. Because if you take into consideration the fact that P2B won in the INEC compromise result of 2023, P2B won 12 states. Since they now claim that FCT is a state, won 12 states. Atiku won 12 states. Bola Metinubu won 12 states. But two of the states that was allocated to Bola Metinubu was a clearly stolen mandate that was supposed to belong to Peter Obi. Peter Obi won Benue State. He is, he, in the petition Peter Obi sent to the uh, presidential election petition tribunal and to the Supreme Court of Nigeria, Peter Obi showed how he won in Benue. Peter Obi showed how he won in River State that was allocated to Bola Metinubu. Had these two states been added to Peter Obi, Peter Obi won 14 states and Tinubu won 10 states and Atiku 12 states. For somebody who is contesting his first presidential election without tons of ill-gotten wealth behind him, he had shown that really politics is a matter of having the backing of the people. But the people unfortunately failed to defend their votes. And uh, this is what you get. Those who are not supposed to be there are now the ones they are backed by law and there is little anyone can do about it. But the fact remains that Peter Obi has shown something that nobody has ever seen in this continent, in this country. And for showing that a new Nigeria is possible and galvanizing the youths of Nigeria to have hope of better Nigeria, Peter Obi is the person of the year of this channel. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget that under this video, if you click on the link under this video, it's going to take you to Jumia online shop. Whatever you buy through this link, they are going to give you 40% off. If you buy any phone, from under this channel, you're going to get 40% off from the normal price. Thank you and God bless you and yours.